This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. Uh, uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone, and thank you for coming uh, to uh, the swearing-in ceremony for the school committee and also city council. Uh, I'd like to recognize our district attorney, Dave Sullivan, who is in the room. Thank you for coming. Also, several uh, department heads uh, joining us uh, today. Thank you to eMedia for setting us up um, in a very appropriate uh, audio uh, setting. I just want to offer some comments about uh, the end of last year and uh, the excitement uh, around both races for city council and school committee and really want to appreciate uh, the folks before us today and also members who could not make it. Thank you for running. Uh, it's not an easy decision and any one of you would not blame you for not running again. Um, <laughs> And, and I'm not, so um, this is the first time that we have had off-cycle elections. And again, I wanna thank the voters for coming out and voting and being involved in these races. Um, and we have a challenging couple of years in front of us. We have a lot of work to do, as we always do, but we have some real decisions um, governed and directed to us, one, by Climate Action Plan and follow up on some work we're doing with the school committee and uh, with the city finance uh, to bring it together and make that uh, information public and a little more in real time, but also allowing our electeds to look at um, what's happening uh, and not have to request a written uh, report or we've got department heads who would love to keep track of, of uh, department budgets and expenditures and, and revenue. Um, I will be releasing uh, my budget letter uh, later today uh, to give our department heads and also these committees um, just some ideas that I have. Um, I will say, because it's been a, an issue um, or questioning, any department, any department can put in whatever draft budget they want to to me, that's fine. You've got a letter and it's pretty direct for that first draft budget, I will not move on that. And then the conversations will begin after I meet with all the departments. And I have nothing against any one department, but I do have 15 departments that need to balance into, and our, our teacher on school committee did not turn off his cell phone. <laughs> It's my timer. It's oh, out of oh. my wallet. Oh, oh, my apologies, Councillor Derby. Uh, since I will be, I, yeah, please don't remember that at vote time. So anyways, um, but thank you very much. Uh, I now invite our city clerk, uh, Barbara LaBombard, up to do the swearing in today. And again, thank you everybody for attending. Thank you everyone for running. And uh, happy new year. Barbara. <laughs> okay, so we have a few people who have never been sworn in at all. So what we're going to do with the new people is we're going to swear them in separately. And then the incumbent or people who have already been sworn in um, will be done as groups. So I'm going to, and afterwards, if I can just ask all of you to scoot over to that form right there and sign after we're done swearing you in. Okay, so we're going to start with our new counselor at large, Jason or JT Terrell, if you could come up. Yeah. <laughs> and raise your right hand. I state your name, do solemnly swear. I, Jason Terrell, solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform all duties. Discharge and perform all duties. Incumbent upon me. Incumbent upon me. As city councilor at large. As city councilor at large. According to the best of my knowledge and abilities. According to the best of my knowledge and abilities. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. 
agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution of the United States of America, of the Constitution of the United States of America, the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and the city of East Hampton. In the city of East Hampton. There you go. Congratulations. Now I will call up in returning counselors at large, Brad Riley, Connie Denham, and Owen Zaret. I guess we better come up. Yeah, there you go. All right, Brad, there. Oh, I Perfect. there was three for me. <clears throat> Perfect. Raise your right hand. I state your name, do solemnly swear. I, Owen Zaret, do solemnly, solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform all duties. Discharge and perform all duties. Incumbent upon me. Incumbent upon me. As city councilor at large. As city councilor at large. According to the best of my knowledge and abilities. According to the best of my knowledge and abilities. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Of the Constitution of the United States of America. Of the Constitution. Constitution, Constitution of the United, United States, States of America. America. The laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the city of East Hampton. And, and the, the city, city of East Hampton. Hampton. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and uh, replacing our longtime um, Precinct 5 counselor, Dan Rist, now we have Tamara Smith. <laughs> Raise your right hand. I state your name, do solemnly swear. I, Tamara Smith, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all duties discharge and perform all duties incumbent upon me incumbent upon me as Precinct 5 City Councilor as Precinct 5 City Councilor according to the best of my knowledge and abilities according to the best of my knowledge and abilities agreeably to the rules and regulations agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution of the United States of America of the Constitution of the United States States of America, the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and the city of East Hampton, and the city of East Hampton. Okay, thank you. So next we'll call up the precinct counselors. We have precinct one, J.P. Kaczynski, precinct two, Omar Gomez, uh, precinct three, Tom Peake, and precinct four, Salem Derby. All returning friends and colleagues. <laughs> okay, raise your right hand. I state your name, do solemnly swear. I say Salem Derby, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform all duties. Discharge and perform all duties. Incumbent upon me. Incumbent upon me. As precinct. As precinct four city councilor. <laughs> there you go. I know. <laughs> According to the best of my knowledge and abilities. According to the best of my knowledge and abilities. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Of the Constitution of the United States of America. Of the Constitution of the United States of America. The laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the city of East Hampton. And the city of East Hampton. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara.
I want to talk to your back here. So uh, we have one um, of our two new school committee members present, Linda Marquis. Uh, Eric Guyette, who's a teacher, wasn't able to be here, so we'll get him sworn in at, um, at a later time. So come on up, Linda. Okay, raise your right hand. I state your name, do solemnly swear. I, Linda Marquis, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform all duties. Discharge and perform all duties. Incumbent upon me. Incumbent upon me. As a school committee member. As a school committee member. According to the best of my knowledge and abilities. According to the best of my knowledge and abilities. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations. The Constitution of the United States of America. To the Constitution of the United States of America. The laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the city of East Hampton. And the the city of East Hampton. Congratulations. And then we have our four returning school committee members, um, Ben Hersey, Laura Scott, Sam Hunter, and Megan Harvey. And can we do, um, is there an option to affirm instead of swearing for religious? Oh, okay, sure. Cool. So Thank you. Affirm. Oh, sure. Okay. Okay, raise your right hand. I state your name, do solemnly affirm. I, I Megan Laura Scott, do solemnly, solemnly affirm. affirm. That I will faithfully and impartially that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all duties. Discharge and perform all duties. Incumbent upon me. Incumbent upon me. As a school committee member. As a school committee member. Um, agreeably, according to the best of my knowledge and abilities. Agreeably, according to the best of my knowledge and abilities. I said that. I said that wrong. That's okay. <laughs> agreeably to the rules and regulations. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution of the United States of America. Of the Constitution of the United States of America. The laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And the city of East Hampton. And the city of East Hampton. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so that concludes things. We're set. Everybody's ready to go back to work. Please help yourself. Help yourself to food. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.